Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to some Let's Play Civ 5. And we are continuing on. Monaco is conquered. Oh no! Hopefully they don't make a habit of that, because I might have to go uh, capture some city-states back if it comes to that. Greece and Rome. That's fine. Yeah, it's this point in time where the game starts getting a little bit on the slow side, unfortunately. And I think it's time for some theaters, because I am now running into happiness trouble once again, despite having Forbidden Palace, although Forbidden Palace really has allowed me to fill out quite a large volume of cities. Uh, relatively quickly. Although a lot of them haven't finished their Colosseums yet, the new ones, which is why there's always some lag there. Anyway, let's get another city going. <laughs> it's like such a minimal hit to happiness at this point. Um, I'm actually going to build more settlers. I could use them. I, I want to fill in this land if possible. I know I'm like spreading like a weed just like the game says. Or the other AI at least. Are these guys friendly? No, they're hostile. Okay. Kremlin. Hanoi. These guys all have resources that I already have. That's not useful to me. I would kill them for it, but I need their votes, so I, that's the only reason. Oh, I am not researching quickly. I should probably start building libraries. Gunpowder. I guess it's about realistic timing for gunpowder when all comes to uh, when it, when push comes to shove. It's also convenient that I'm continually getting new units from the AI. Ooh, a long swordsman. I was killing those with horsemen earlier this game. No, but you know this this is upgrade fodder for later, and yeah, it could be useful. Like, uh, most of these city-states tend to be coastal, so if the AI starts getting uh, fresh, well, that's one approach I can take. Is just bombard with battleships and destroyers and take the city. And I probably could have even salvaged the first game I played on YouTube uh, using that methodology. Just, like, battleships reach in uh, three tiles, uh, other navy tends to reach in two tiles, but they can do so much damage, and the AI is not good with its navy, although supposedly it's been improved in this patch, so we'll see. I did like its at least minor improvements in other aspects of gameplay to date. Their Siamese ability to sit on the uh, city tiles was impressive to me. <sighs> Maybe I should unpuppet this city. I don't think so, though. I think I can stay a puppet. I think that's funny. And yeah, let's bring up Brussels. Ally of nobody. Well, you're allied with me again now. Oh no, I lost my deal with China. I should trade with the uh, lesser civs right now just because, well... They're not, they're not really in serious contention for the game any longer. So if I can trade stuff for them and benefit from it, it's fine. Ha, I bet you, you will not want to trade with me for, yeah, no. I'm not going to give them that much because it actually hurts me to do so. Fairly obviously. Oh, come on, theaters. <laughs> Help me out here. And when is this city going to get a border pop? Probably after it finishes a monument, that's when. Now if I could just tell these cities to auto-produce because I no longer care, that would be nice too. Uh, library? No. You know what? Fine. I'll build universities too. I could use the science. 
Oh, did any auto workers finally get over here? Oh, they will soon. Oh, I'm probably trading for that now. Two of them. It's real brilliant. The main team showing you how not to play. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not killing city states. In fact, over time here, I have accrued absolutely nothing in that window because I'm clicking on the wrong window. Victory progress. I now have enough votes for a diplomatic victory already. So I just need to keep these guys alive now. Most of them are on my continent or neutral continents and will not be easy to conquer. But some of the others might be. But there's a lot of city-states left out there. So it can't be that bad. Yeah, oh, a trebuchet this time, yeah, other than yet another catapult. It's about to say yet another catapult, but that was not the case. Mint. Mints are nice. Mints are happiness. And they are maintenance-free happiness, which makes them all the nicer. Yeah, I'm getting a healthy little stack here. No. Oh, you know what? F fine. Alexander sucks, so do as you please. I hope you don't mean, think that means I'll actually, like, declare on him. Alright, Dublin. Oh, and Geneva? Really? Well, next turn I'll have to handle Geneva. It's kind of hard to stay up with all these city-states. If I were doing the patronage strategy, I would be getting a lot right now. Like, a lot, a lot. Great artists. Well, they all want different great people, so maybe I'll complete one of these quests. Ah, <sighs> city state message. Oh, what do I want to research next? You know what I want to research next? Where is it? Refrigeration lets you build the UN. No, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's so far away. Oh, that's painful. How could this be any more painful? Well, time to build research buildings. It's the only way I'm getting there faster other than research agreements, which I'm going to have to start making. I think with my GNP lead, that's not a bad call. <laughs> yeah. But okay, I'm going to cut the video off here. Got something distracting me, so I will see you guys in the next part. I mean, team signing off.